What's going on everybody? This is Jackie Terry and today I just want to talk about isometric and what isometrics is pretty much just flexing every part of your body turning on all those muscle fibers and you will actually get a really good pump doing this. You'll see a lot of bodybuilders and a lot of martial artists doing this technique. And I'll demonstrate to you. You know, they'll stand in one place and just flex. They'll flex every part of their body. So, as you see, I'm flexing, I'm flexing and holding, holding my arms in one position. You see, my arms aren't contracting. But they're standing in one position. I'm not moving them. So I'm just standing in one position, just flexing, flexing every part of that bicep in one position in one still motion. And that's what isometric is. And you can use this in a lot of strength training techniques. Just as if I'm flexing right now and I'm, you know, I'm balling up my fists nice and tight and I'm flexing just like that as hard as I can. I'm activating the all different types of muscle fibers in my arm. So you'll see a lot of bodybuilders using this technique as they pose or as they go into a show. You can also use this with this technique with essentially any type of weight, any type of pull up. Prime example, if I were to lean on this wall just like this and we'll call this a bent over wall press. And if I were just to lean just like this, and flex every muscle in my body and push as hard as I can against this wall, this door, then I'm activating all different types of muscle groups. Not only am I flexing my arms, but I'm also flexing my chest, my stomach as well. So isometrics plays a big part in your strength lifting because automatically you're going to activate all your muscle fibers. You're just going to turn that light switch on, which is very important in any type of heavy lift. Anytime when I get under that 405 bench press, I use isometrics because you want to grab on as to the weight as tight as you can. You want to flex every single muscle in your body so you can activate all those muscle fibers so they can all work at once so you can um, essentially get that heavy lift up even better. We'll take one of these dumbbells and I'll actually show you. We'll take something fairly light. It's a 15 pound weight but if I simply grab onto it and really flex as tight as I can I'm activating all the muscles in that bicep and as you see, I'm going as hard as I can, really, really feeling it. So the moment you grip on to something in a steady pose, just like this, as you see, I'm holding it and I'm keeping that tension, but I'm also flexing as hard as I can. And this is what, the, this is what the isometric training is all about. And you can do this essentially when you're working out because essentially there's no movement. There's no eccentric or concentric movement. We do a lot of eccentric and concentric movement when we're lifting weights. I know you guys see me do a couple slow control reps, our normal pace reps. These are eccentric and concentric movements whenever I go at a normal pace or whenever I go slow. But isometrics is totally different. Some example is um, just act like you're frozen. Act like you're frozen, like a statue. This is what isometrics is. You basically flex every muscle in your body, but you stay in that same position. And it's a good way to activate all the muscle fibers in your body at once. As you see, I got on a shirt, but I'll actually take the shirt off and show you. Okay, perfect. So now, I have my shirt off. So now, if I were to flex as tight as I can, just like this, I'm activating all the neuron muscles in my body just by flexing. So you can actually get a good pump just by flexing, just by doing isometrics. 
because you're not moving. You're actually just going against your own resistance. Once again, I'm doing a bent over wall press. So as you see now, I'm pushing on it as hard as I can. I'm not moving, I'm pushing on it as hard as I can. As you see, I'm flexing every muscle in my body. My lats are kicking in, chest, arms, everything is pretty much kicking in. And this is all in one position. This, this is all isometric. Now, if I wanted to cause an eccentric and concentric reaction to it, I can just by using my door. So if I were to pull my door just like this, I'm causing a concentric and eccentric reaction. So now I'm actually working out. So essentially, you can use isometrics essentially as a, as a warm-up tool to turn on, to activate all your muscle fibers. So when using isometrics, flex every part of your body, flex it as hard as you can to activate all the muscle fibers in your body and then essentially go to concentric and eccentric movements, which consider just moving your arm. And now all your muscle fibers are already activated and you feel a good pump. You can actually use isometrics without weight. As you see, I'm, feel, I'm getting a pretty good arm workout just by taking this door and swinging it toward me. I'm getting a pretty good arm workout. I feel it all in my lats just by, just by essentially putting all my weight on this door and bringing it back to me. Concentric and eccentric reactions. Once again, these are great techniques. Before there were weights, a lot of people used isometric techniques to get strong. Bruce Lee, if if um if you do your research on Bruce Lee actually did it. He would pose just like this. And as you see, I'm not moving. My shoulders aren't raised. I'm staying in that same isometric pose. And what essentially this is gonna do, this is gonna work out my chest a lot more. So as you see, I'm flexing my chest a lot more. I'm not moving. I, it's almost like I'm frozen, but I'm also feeling a really, really good pump in that chest. As you know, I'm flexing my stomach as well. And when you're doing this technique, you guys, don't forget to breathe. You want to allow oxygen to keep going through those muscles. So um, bleed, breathing controls everything that you do. You'll see a lot of martial artists just doing this. We're flexing every part of our body, staying frozen. Now, when doing the isometrics, if I'm flexing my bicep just like this, I'm flexing it. Remember, isometric is to just stay frozen. Frozen and flex every joint in your body to really, you know, activate those muscle fibers. So if I'm just doing this and I hold it for about 10 seconds, I can really feel it. Now there is a carryover to this method. So now, if I were to slightly bend my arm just like this, at a certain angle, while I'm still flexing my stomach, then I'll, then I'll essentially get another pump. I'm essentially activating a lot of different muscle fibers in that bicep. Essentially, if I put my arm at a 90 degree angle just like this, I'm activating another pump. Once again, I'm flexing. I'm flexing every part of my muscles, shoulders, stomach, everything counts. And I'm keeping that tension as well. As you see, my arm is not moving. I'm like a statue. And I simply contract it as slow as I can. And I hold it. And you can do this without any weight as you see I'm going slower and slower really keeping that tension all the way till I get down to a normal position and then I hold it and as you see I'm shaking my hand off because just by doing that I really felt a good pump in my forearm my bicep and my stomach so when you're doing isometrics you can pose, but you can also contract 
the muscles as well. So you can pose for about maybe 10 seconds and then you can contract the bicep muscles. You can contract the arms. The main part of isometrics is flexing every part of your body so you can activate that central nervous system so you can activate all of the muscle fibers that are in your body and a lot of bodybuilders um, use this technique so when you see a bodybuilder getting ready for a pose or a show he's essentially doing isometrics at home getting this muscle endurance ready because it takes a lot of muscle endurance just to flex and to hold that 10 second pose so it takes a lot and you will tire out because it's resistance you're constantly under tension when you're flexing so if I'm flexing just like this or just like this and I'm contracting my arm just like this my arm is constantly under tension and it's constantly under resistance because I'm flexing and that plays a big part and lifting as well so you can actually really get a good pump but just by using isometrics and flexing every part of your body and it's highly beneficial when you're working out too because because now if I have any type of weight in my hand I can use it to my advantage I can pick it up and flex every part of my body still keeping that tension and really activate all those muscle fibers really make the workout tough as you see everything is flexing even the traps so all in all if you want to get a good trap workout as well take the 25 pound dumbbells and just flex just hold it hold it still flex every part of your trap stomach muscles and your chest and hold it for at least about 10 seconds don't forget to breathe and as you see it's very tough it's not easy but at the same time you're going to build your muscle endurance up because you're activating all those muscle fibers in your body just by staying tense and holding this like a statue Arrgh. wow i really feel it oh, wow i felt that wow but doing this technique it's going to be beneficial and your muscle tone, um, your muscle growth, muscle stamina, uh, muscle endurance, because it takes a lot to hold a position just by flexing. Just by flexing, it takes a lot. I recommend isometric training to everybody. It's a really good way um, to build strength and essentially activate all your muscle fibers at once. So when you do go into a heavy lift, your muscle fibers will already be activated or you can do this under a heavy lift just remember when you're doing it under a heavy lift flex every part of your body really grip that bar as tight as you can really grip it as tight as you can and then release because once you grip that bar once you activate all the muscle fibers in your body just by simply flexing then the then your body is awake so essentially it's going to be a lot easier for you to get that heavy weight up or if you're on a particular lift where you want to do more reps go ahead and flex every part of your body to activate that central nervous system to turn all those muscle fibers on so you can essentially get more reps so hey once again this is Jackie Terry this is isometric training which as you see you essentially don't need any weight as you see, I'm getting a good range of motion just by opening and closing this door. But at the same time, the key point is to flex, really flex every single muscle in your body while doing this.